Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. It's been a while, but I haven't gone anywhere. My team and I have been working every day to build our game out of the ashes. Today, I have a gift for you. As you've probably guessed from the title, it is the terrain system we've been building for Out of the Ashes. This project has been a joint effort between myself and Loic Chen on my team and Rupe Palmros from Autobuggy Games. About four months ago, Rupe and I were independently creating our own GDScript-based terrain systems and we decided to merge our efforts to create what everybody in the Godot community has needed for years, a high-performance C++-based terrain system. And that's what we're releasing today. Let's get into the details. This is an alpha release, but it's fairly stable. It's mainly lacking in testing and features. What I want to talk about now are the features we have implemented, some of the areas we have not tested yet, what the status is, and then I want to talk about the roadmap and features that we may or may not implement. This terrain system is a geometric clip map mesh terrain. It's the same system that was used in The Witcher 3. A lot of terrain systems are chunk based systems. That means as the camera moves forward, a section of land is created, new chunks are created ahead of you, and chunks behind you are destroyed. In a clip map mesh terrain, the mesh is created once and then it follows the camera around and the GPU modifies the vertices of the terrain according to the height map data. It's a very high performance system because the GPU is doing not only the texturing, but also the terrain modification. So because we've offloaded a lot of the work to the GPU, running in game is very fast. However, I should note we're not editing on the GPU. The sculpting and painting operations are running on the CPU. They are operating in C++, so it's reasonably fast, but it's not ideal. It would be great if we could do GPU painting, GPU sculpting. We're waiting for some updates in the core engine that'll make GPU painting and sculpting more feasible. In the meantime, we're just doing our operations on the CPU. All the processing is done through C++, so it's reasonably fast, just not ideal. The terrain system supports up to 10 levels of detail. Maximum size of the terrain is 16K by 16K. However, we've broken that down into 1024 by 1024 sized regions. So you could create multiple islands without having to pay for 16K by 16K VRAM. You can just pay for the 1024 by 1024 regions that you use. We support up to 32 textures using albedo, normal, roughness, and height. There is UV scaling and rotation per texture, although we'll likely change that to be paintable scale and rotation. We support the standard sculpting options, raise, lower, flatten. Not only is there painting texture and a color map, but there's also wetness which modifies the roughness. So you can paint a roughness modifier, which will make textures look wet. We plug into Godot's undo and redo system. And of course you can import and export data. Let's talk about interaction with other systems within Godot. We're developing on Windows only. We haven't tested any other platforms. The goal is to support all of the major platforms that Godot supports. We just haven't tested any of it. Exported games probably don't work. We haven't tested it yet. As for physics, the terrain system has full detail collision and physics works fine. That also means that the navigation server can probably bake. We haven't tested it yet. Same with occlusion, haven't tested it yet. At the very least, you can use manual shapes underneath the terrain. We'll see about baking. As for lighting, SDGFI seems to work fine. However, light map baking is not an option. There is no static mesh, nor does it have a UV channel to bake light maps onto, so not an option. You'll have to use dynamic lighting. As far as interaction with third-party tools, I've already talked about importing and exporting height maps. You can also use Hungry Proton's scatter plugin to be able to place objects. And we've provided a script you can insert into scatter so that it can detect where the terrain is. Let's talk about our roadmap and possible future features. Double precision floats is a likelihood. It seems to be easy to do. As far as texturing, we have some very bare bones texturing right now. The Witcher 3 team put out a presentation where they talked about a lot of very advanced texturing techniques such as two layer texture blending, painting UV scale, slope and rotation. We wanna put in a lot of these features as well Paintable foliage, it's on the list. This is used for painting non-collision based meshes such as rocks and grass. We'll likely implement it as a particle shader that reads from a splat map and the tool will allow us to paint the splat map to define where those items are gonna be. 
holes in the terrain? We will see. The challenge has always been punching through the collision mesh. It's challenging to do. All I can say about it is we'll see. Non-destructive layers for things like creating grooves in the terrain for riverbeds, roads, or paths that follow a curve. It's a possibility, but it's very low priority. We have a lot of other higher priority issues to address. And finally, I get a couple questions about water. One is, will water be incorporated in the terrain? No, it's out of scope. There are better tools out there for water. If you want to create rivers, use waterways. If you want lakes or an ocean, create a mesh, subdivide it, and then search online for a water or ocean shader. There's many of them out there, including some already written for Godot. And the second question I get about water is, can the terrain system be used to simulate an ocean? It's not really the right tool for that. I just described how to do it using a subdivided plane. That's gonna give you a lot more mileage than trying to adapt a terrain system for an ocean. Okay, I think we've covered enough in this overview. Of course, all of the links are in the description below. And if you want more interaction with us, you can join the Tokisan Discord server where you can get updates on our game, Out of the Ashes, as well as chat with us about Terrain 3D. I hope you enjoy the plugin. I'll chat with you next time. Take care.